Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Crystal, the pro beauty. Mm -hmm. So I want you guys to click the subscribe button, click the like button and follow for more of Crystal as well. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you guys how I became a volleyball player. So guys, sit down, sit tight and listen in. <laughs> So my journey started when I was a wee wee little <laughs> joke 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 joke. <laughs> my story began when I was like 17 years old. Yes, 17. That's like late to start volleyball. That's like late to start any sport. But hey, what can I say? That's when the Lord said, "Yo, Crystal, it's your time to shine." So here we go. At 17 years old, this is when I started volleyball. I was on my way to running practice. I was running track at the time. I can't remember the name of the club. I will try to remember it when I'm down below. But I was on my way to track practice. And while I was standing there to get a taxi to go to track practice, I was with my sister. And um, this guy just pulled up to me on the street and he said to me, have you ever played volleyball? I was like, no. 17 years old. I was like, mm -hmm. and he was like, he pulled over. He pulled over. I, I remember him pulling over, and he comes out. He comes out of the car. He introduces himself. He said his name is Mr. Terence Honore. He said um, he has a club. He just had a club called Stallings, and the girls are away right now. He gave me so much information about the club, and I should come and join them. They were training in San Fernando. He gave me a lot of information. He gave me his card so I could call him and I can talk to him. So I said, okay, I took the card. I said, I'll give you a call. I'll talk to you about it. He said, it was nice to meet you. He said, my sister, hi, I, is she in volleyball? She was like, no. And we were like, okay. And she was like, okay. And he was like, okay, that's cool. That's fine. And he jumped in his car and he left. Now I went to practice and I remember when I came home that night, I remember this part. I remember saying to my mom, mom, this guy met me and he gave me his car to play volleyball. I don't know what volleyball is, but I want to see about it. I want to know I want to play volleyball. And my mom looked at me dead in the eye. She was like, are you sure? I was like, yes, I do. And she was like, okay, go ahead. And that was it. So I called Mr. Honore and um, they had practice every Friday in San Fernando. I went to his training the Friday and I met I met the girls, I met the coaches at that time. I think one of the coaches was a Cuban woman. I think she was on a program or something. And I met her. Her name was Anna Maria. And I, I met her because the girls, as he mentioned before, had just came back from Cuba. That was amazing. I was like, wow, Cuba. <laughs> wow. So, um, I remember meeting the other coach, that was Nado, she was there, and um, he introduced me around to all the girls, they were like, they were already playing in session, now I didn't know nothing, I was coming in at zero, and um, he took me around, the coach took me to the coach, she said, how old am I, she said, oh my god, you're so tall, you have a great physique for volleyball, this is so good, and I was like, okay, thank you, and then she began teaching me basic steps about volleyball, about learning about the game she talked to me a lot that day she, you know she introduced me and and i met the girls they were really friendly they were nice they were supportive they were like oh i remember that from the girls like i didn't remember anything ill i remember meeting like girls all day. these girls were amazing at that time like they were like i was like wow they were really good players and they were also national athletes at the time they were also representing Trinidad and Tobago on the national team and i was like wow that's amazing and so I was on the side, like I was on the side, but they were training. I was on the side with the ball. Anna Maria, she was teaching me all the steps and getting me to learn volleyball. And I remember going home and tell my mom what I saw, how it was, and I described it to her. And it was like, oh my gosh, it was so good. And she was like, oh, she was happy for me. She was like, okay, great. Um, and the, <laughs> the question came. Um, she was like, so are you going to do track or volleyball? I was like, I'm going volleyball. <laughs> Guys, true story. I did not even call my coach. I didn't call nobody. I just left track. I didn't give them no warning, no nothing. I was like, bye. I'm done. And I left track. And I committed to volleyball. I committed to every Friday going to trainings 
instant friend. I would travel down there. I would, I would like basically travel to get there. I would save my money. I would do everything, everything possible to get to training on a Friday because it was amazing meeting these girls and training and learning and um, growing there. And um, I, I'm trying to like get this story right because <laughs> I did not rehearse this. I want to do it live on camera. <laughs> so I remember going there every Friday afternoon and training. Now, we would train first, the women would have practice first, and the men would have practice after. Now, um, I, I usually don't stay after the men practice, for the men practice, because I would like I would have to travel home, so I would like have to hurry up, have to practice and get ready and go. I wouldn't stay because it was like nighttime, and I didn't want to be out late that night. But then, um, one night, Mr. Honoré said he would drop us all home, he would drop some of the girls home to stay back and, you know, and I was like, okay, great. He will drop us after the men training and I'll be like, it will be like, fine. Cause the men has tournament. I was like, he explained a lot. And I was like, fine, no problem. Okay. And I'll stay. <laughs> this is where the story gets good. Let me tell what it is. I was like, yo, this is where the story gets good. Sat, sat down there looking at the men's practice you know i'm just there i'm like okay the guys are training wow it's cool you know then i heard boom, boom. i was like what what made that sound i was like what made that sound boom 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 boom, boom, boom. i was like what is that i look because i was talking with my friend i looked at the court and these guys were spiking and attacking and warming up on the net and they were like boom boom Boom. It was echoed. I ha I think I don't think I've ever heard something so loud even on the women's team. But the guys were like boom boom. Like it was thunder in the gym. And I remember seeing um Kesley. His name is Kesley at the time. He was he's like way shorter than I am. His head is like hair. But he jumps. Like when he jumps, his entire waist is above the net. Above the net. No, the net is men's height. This is men's height net, and his waist is above the net. And he's like, boom. I'm like oh my gosh that's amazing that's oh my gosh i got so excited that i was up in the stands and i came down i literally came down closer to the court to actually see like what they were doing and they were scrimmaging and i remember like after the warm-up the game started they were they were doing six on six and i remember the six on six starting and there was this guy called, there was abby at the time my gosh this is where volleyball took a new turn. This is where volleyball took a turn from, yes, I want to do this, to I am going to live this. I am going to breathe this. I am going to do this. I am going to become this. And I remember Abby coming through the back row on a six ball and pipe and he killed it and he crushed it and he flew. It's like he was up in the air and I will never forget this picture in my mind. He was like a, I, it's like in my mind he was like an eagle in the back just flying through like boom boom. I was like oh my gosh. I want to be like that. I want to play like that. I'm like oh my gosh. I In my mind like really the picture of him I have in my mind to this day is of an eagle flying. <laughs> flying through the back row and he's like boom, boom it was like an explosion his balls were so quick and so fast and he was just like kill it kill it they couldn't stop him they couldn't block him he was incredible him and Kesley and then it was Greg and these guys were like hitting so powerful so strong so fast it was something like wow it was like amazing and to me to this and this is what sold me on volleyball seeing those guys play wow <laughs> to this day i'm still like wow o m g it was amazing that i i took i saw them and i saw myself and i was like i want to be like that i want to be like that this is, this is what changed the game for me, seeing these guys play and how powerful they are and how they work, how hard they work. And it was after that, that th th that is what started the fire. I mean, the fire was there, but seeing these guys play, it's, be it's like, I started, I started saying to myself, I am a volleyball player. <laughs> there was no more joking about it. There was no more games about it. I am. Um, a volleyball player like I said it I was like I'm a volleyball player after this and and this is how this is how, this is how it became for me 
my story started where I was just minding my business, walking the street to being on the court and watching some amazing guys play volleyball to today. <laughs> um, so yeah, these guys influenced my decision heavily on becoming a volleyball player. I remember going home that night and telling my mom what I saw and how amazing I felt and how I want to do that. I want to make the ball go harder. I want to make the ball this. What can I do? I remember like this is what's in my mind at that time. How can I get this? How can I get this? I remember also like some, some, I don't know. I think after one national league tournament, I saw the guys, I saw Kesley and I was talking to him. I was like, how did you get so strong? And how do you get so powerful? And I asked him a lot of questions. Like I picked his brain and how he, how he did it, how he jumped so high, how he got the ball to reach like that, how he got to hit the ball. I remember he was so easy going. I remember one time he posted one photo of him with a with a, a gas tank on his back on the bed. He was doing so much work and I wanted to know how to get like that and I wanted to be like that. Like I was I would I would pick his I picked his brain that tournament and I asked him so many questions. He was so helpful and he just gave. He just gave this information. He wasn't thinking twice about it. And I was I was like really, really glad that he did because it, it put me in a place like they gave me the fuel I need. I was like, this fire is lit and it's gonna burn. <laughs> I remember, I remember doing everything I can to play volleyball, doing everything I can to go to practice. I mean, it started with me, like, I would save my lunch money. Let me tell you something, what I did to, be, to do this. I didn't get an allowance. I wasn't getting a big allowance at that time because I was still in school and my sisters were working. And I remember I would do my sister's laundry. <laughs> I would do my sister's laundry and she would pay me to go to get money to go to practice. I would do it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, boom, practice money, boom, practice money. I would rack up. I would do her chores. She would pay me and I would get money to go to practice. I would get money to buy, to buy the sneakers. I would get money to buy the outfits, the uniform, the this. I would use, I would work. I, I basically worked my tail off to, to live that dream, to live that dream of playing a volleyball. This is me, how I became a volleyball player. And I wanna thank everybody that supported me. I really wanna thank a lot of people that supported me through this dream, through this goal, who gave me the chance and the shot to start playing volleyball. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. So guys, this is it for this video today. And you can let me know in the comments, what are you doing? What are your goals? What are your dreams? Let me know what other videos you would like to see me come up with come next up and I'll see you on my next video. <laughs> so you don't want to miss it and you do want to tell a friend, you do want to tell somebody, better get on Crystal's live, better get on Crystal's YouTube because she's giving it hot. Coming in hot. <laughs> I'm coming in hot. <laughs> yes, yeah, so please go like, comment, subscribe, share, share to your like.